Prometheans returning in Halo Infinite, Assassinations returning as well, and how about the new cutscene style that's not going to be pre-rendered in Halo Infinite? I answer that and a lot more of your questions within this video, so stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. So I recently went to my community page and asked you guys, do you have any questions about Halo Infinite? And you guys certainly responded with like a hundred plus comments and questions and really great interaction. So I really appreciate you guys checking it out. If you want to take part in the next Q&A, make sure you subscribe to the channel to know when those community posts do go live. And if your question didn't get answered in this video, don't worry, I will be referring back to that post as well for future videos. So if you like content like this or want to see some more stuff like it, make sure you tap subscribe and also keep yourself up to date with Halo, so let's get right into the content here. Ed River asks, do you think we are going to see the Prometheans in Halo Infinite? Their story arc has not ended yet. I think the Prometheans are pretty much here to stay. I mean, in one of the sandbox development updates, they did mention about hard light weapon types, so which is what the Prometheans use for the most part. So I could totally see them coming back in Halo Infinite. I think they probably are just gonna be staying around, I think maybe forever, or maybe you see them less focused or something like that. I would certainly f expect that when it comes to Halo Infinite's campaign gameplay. They might see a little bit less emphasis on the Prometheans and more emphasis on the Banished. Because if I get my lore correct, that the Prometheans that you fight against are actually just like composed humans re brought back and regenerated in a way through these mechanical bodies. I could be wrong on that, but that's why they kind of take on these like human presence when it comes to the way the Prometheans look. And I certainly would like to see 343 continue to explore more with what the Prometheans can do, because I think there is something there that actually can be pretty fun and interesting that you can pull off with that enemy type compared to anything else. Uh, just that there's been kind of some odd choices throughout Halo 4 and Halo 5, but I still think there's a lot of potential when it comes to Prometheans as an enemy type, so I certainly would love to see him come back in Halo Infinite. The Jayhawk asks, do you think assassinations will come back in Infinite? I definitely hope so. I would be absolutely shocked if assassinations do not come back in Halo Infinite. They've been in every Halo game since Reach, which were when they were first brought in, then they had them in Halo 4, and also had a ton of them in Halo 5, and I would highly, highly expect to see them come back in Halo Infinite, mainly because it would be a really great tool or way, great kind of asset to get people to buy into microtransactions. Since the multiplayer is going to be free to play, there's going to be a way to monetize the game. And throughout the last few years, it's been generally well received that you monetize the customization. Assassinations would fall under a different type of customization you can do for Halo Infinite. And plus having like a cool flashy way to assassinate somebody is something I think would be really enticing for people to jump into microtransactions actions which this does sound terrible right but you also gotta think about it the multiplayer is free to play and i actually would be more willing to buy microtransactions in a game like halo infinite because there is that 10 year plan right this isn't going to be like a call of duty where you spend money in the microtransactions and then next year it's going to be completely irrelevant it's going to stick with you for a long time now i'm sure when it comes to microtransactions there, there probably will be some in-game way to kind of you know get currency and stuff like that so you don't have to spend any money to increase that player engagement though there probably will be some awesome assassinations where probably probably really entices people to probably get, go into the microtransaction side of things, but I would really love to see some new stuff come in as well, like Halo 5 assassinations really upped the game when it came to that, and I really thought that a lot of them were super cool. Like, I really, I think I, one I rocked the longest was definitely the one where you stick him with a grenade, you do like this Olympic like spin around and swing him away and then they explode, like that's such an awesome assassination. I would be shocked if that something like that does not come back in Halo Infinite. ISP Gravy asks, what are your thoughts on no pre-rendered cutscenes? I actually really like this move by 343 to do these like continuous in-game shots when it comes to the gameplay style of this. Uh, I think it really plays in very well to like the open and expansive world that we're gonna have for the campaign for Halo Infinite. Because the main reason why like these pre-rendered cutscenes worked well with like Halo 2 Anniversary, Halo Wars 2, uh, Halo 4, and Halo 5. It's because you have like a very linear set of progression through the campaign. You basically get to like a door or something like that. 
and then you go through like a cutscene kind of moment to kind of tie in you into the next level essentially. Halo 4 and Halo 5 certainly had like a nice mix of in-game as well as like high quality cutscenes as well. Though I would like to see it all just in-game. It's one of the things that actually worked really well with Bungie's game in the long term actually I feel because when you're playing like Halo CE, Halo 2, and Halo 3, they're all in-game rendered cutscenes. They're not going to be doing any kind of high quality blur stuff essentially, which kind of keeps you like in the feel of the game as well. You don't really get taken out of the moment when you see like these really amazing, beautiful set pieces in pre-rendered cutscenes like we've seen like with Halo 2 Anniversary. You go into the game and you're like, okay, now we got to go back into reality kind of feeling where when it's all in-game, then it just kind of continuously flows super well and there's like really great continuity. You never really feel like you're taken out of the game. You're constantly in it. And like I mentioned with the flow of gameplay that's going to be coming with Halo Infinite, you're going to be kind of going in and out of these open expansive situations where there's not going to really be like a set ending when it comes to uh, different kind of missions you're going to be pulling off within Halo Infinite. It's just going to be kind of a continuous thing you're always going to be doing. So I do like the like the one take continuous shots within engine, especially with how Good, I hope at least when the game finally releases it visually the game will hopefully look really well and so then being in-game engine cutscenes won't really feel so out of place and it will be really great quality I mean especially with these cutscenes too like I remember seeing this with uh, Advanced Warfare with Call of Duty they had like these really well done like advanced like certainly pre-rendered cutscenes they would kind of like overlay on the in-game engine and so then you would kind of like fade transition you into the game so you still have like the high quality renders but then also you can just fade smoothly back into gameplay but yeah short answer I think it's a great idea AGK927 asks do you think there will be any new multiplayer modes in Ranked, maybe like King of the Hill? I always felt it was a bit of a shame that they removed King of the Hill in Halo 5 as a competitive mode, uh, but it seemed like they kind of traded it out for Strongholds, which actually I really do enjoy Strongholds as a competitive mode within Halo. I actually would really like to see that come back in Halo Infinite. I mean, King of the Hill is going to be in Halo Infinite, but is it going to be like a ranked competitive mode or part of like the HCS rotational playlist kind of part of it? I mean, maybe. It kind of comes down to like if it's going to fit well within the gameplay as well. I do feel like they are going to be trying to fit some new kind of competitive mode into Halo Infinite, much like what we saw with Halo 5's Breakout, which Breakout at first was kind of shunned upon, kind of being like a Call of Duty kind of search and destroy kind of re, you know, rehash kind of thing which we you know we had plenty of call of duty you know, elements from halo 4 we didn't want to see that again pretty much but actually it was a really fun mode a 1.0 breakout is actually really good uh people hate 2.0 i don't know why it's still in the game but that's whatever though i could totally yeah, see it like another game mode come in though it does have to be something completely different it can't just be like a different version of flag or a different version of assault or something like or oddball uh it had to be something with like completely new game mechanics i feel that we've never really seen before in halo I mean, I'm just a big fan of Slayer, CTF, like Strongholds, Domination kind of mode. Though it would be nice to see some kind of more slower paced mode to kind of mix it up a little bit. So something kind of along those lines, maybe like a Breakout kind of mode. Maybe bring, just bring Breakout back. I don't know, we'll see. Next question by Vagelis Raras, if that's how you pronounce your name. I probably butchered it, but he asks, what do you think or would you like Halo Infinite's Collector's Edition? I would love to see a Collector's Edition for Halo Infinite, uh, especially like the last, like Halo 3's and Halo Reach's co Collector Editions were just so cool. I actually end up having to like find somebody on like a you know local app and then I was able to buy them off somebody for like a lower price recently and I have them up on my bookshelf. Absolutely love that. I would love to see something come in as well like we saw with the Halo 5 or is coming in for Halo Infinite, some kind of cool new uh, collector's edition kind of thing, new some kind of thing you can uh, put up on your bookshelf, you look up and like, hell yeah man, I'm a Halo fan. Though my biggest issue with it is that since we have Game Pass, right? Well, if you're already paying in the Game Pass, you're going to be getting Halo Infinite for part of that Game Pass. But if you want to buy the collector's edition, then you're probably going to have to rebuy the game as well as like the cool collector's edition thing. Or will you be able to buy that separately? 
that's something I would really want to take in consideration because I would fi love to find a way to save $60 because I'm going to get the game either like on Steam or probably with my Game Pass as well. I mean, I hate to go through the process of buying the game again just to get the cool collector's edition, but I might have to do that because I would really like to see get like the cool co collector's edition kind of thing for it. I mean, what could it be though? Because like, like I said, the Halo 3 one, the iconic Master Chief helmet, the Halo Reach one with the full squad on it looks freaking awesome. Halo 5 is pretty cool as well. Uh, what can we do for maybe Halo Infinite? Maybe like a Zeta Halo ring or something like that? Maybe just find some way to kind of package everything inside that or something. I don't know. Uh, but I think that would just be a pretty cool version that we could possibly see for a collector's edition. So if you guys missed any content from me recently or been out of loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right now. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.